Hello everyone. In this edition of Back Shops, I'm going to talk a little bit about my Ravel Big Boy build. Now, I didn't record myself building the Big Boy. There's plenty of channels that have shown you how to build one of these. I just want to show you a few things that I do and point out one thing if you happen to get this kit or you can apply it to other kits if you choose. Okay, so once I got it built, they did not instruct you about the air compressors. I don't know if you can see, but they're right in here. Let's try to get that camera. I don't think I can very well. But anyways, there's two of them on each side. There's one on each side. Should I say there's two all together? But there's a space there to put them in. And I didn't put them in because I was just following the instructions. But you have kind of a cavity if you don't put them in there. And they fit perfectly. So I don't know why they exclude them from the instructions, but there you go. Okay, so once I get this done and started decaling, usually when I decal something, I put a, a coat of gloss coat on and then put the decal on and then cover it again with gloss to try to really blend that decal film in. Well, the plastic was pretty shiny and I didn't put a gloss coat on and I put the decal on and then, then I put a coat on and it didn't quite hide it very well. I don't know if you can, you can still kind of see the film, but the, these decals I think are thick. But anyways, I gave it a coat of gloss, and then I went back over and gave it, you know, originally with this gloss, and then went back over and gave it a coat of semi-gloss, so it wouldn't be real shiny. And another thing I do with steam engine on the tender, I tape the coal load when I put all the coats on. And the reason I do that is, let's take that tape off. It doesn't have to be perfect tape on there either. But, I hope the camera will show us well enough. The cold load does look different from the rest of the tender. And then I will go over with the uh, Tamaya or Tamaya soot and pull the soot in here. Because coal is shiny and dull all at the same time. But we'll get to that later. I also want to show you what I do with the headlight and tail light on a model like this. I mean, it's a stag display. So, I don't know if I can get that just right. But anyways, there's two little lamps, backup lamps on the tender. I paint inside silver. In this case, I used the Tamiya Titanium Silver because that's what I had. So I'll paint inside. Oops, let me get the camera. Paint inside silver, and then I'll take a little bit of yellow and just dab it in there just a little bit. And then I'm going to take this tester's window glue that dries clear, and we're going to fill the lights in. And what they'll do is hopefully it gives us an uh, appearance of a lens with a lamp inside. So we have two in the tender, and one right here, the headlamp. So we'll do that next. Okay, so now I'm going to take my tester's window glue and drip it in that big headlamp first. And I always have toothpicks at the ready because if you get air bubbles, you're going to want to pop the air bubble and get the old glue off too and you're going to want a clean tip on these because if you have glue on them for, i notice it doesn't pop the bubbles so have a bunch on hand so you can pop multiple bubbles if necessary so we're just going to try and put a couple of drops in here and you can make it flat or, you know, because it'll, it'll cling to itself, you can just go a little above the rim of the headlamp to get that little bit of curvature. So add a little more here. Apologize for scanner noise, but I'm waiting for a train to come through and there's an engine I want to catch on it. 
So let's see if we can smooth this out a little bit. Once again, add a little more. Hmm, this stuff's pretty runny. It's coming out thick at the moment. Cap it to sell it down. So it's got a weird shape to it. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, bubble came out. All right, there we go. Now it's coming out a little. You can see it's almost a little bit of a dome. See that? So I'm gonna get it to go all the way around the rim. Oops. What I should try to do is better on camera, huh? All right. Now it's a little too much, so we're just going to twirl our toothpick. And get some of that extra out of there. I just put it in and twirl the toothpick a little bit. There, now it's not sticking up. See? Is that tapping annoying? I'm sorry. But I'm just trying to get to spread evenly through. All right, so now I'm going to have to let this dry and then we'll go on to the other ones. Okay, I went ahead and did the little tiny lens above and I also did the headlamp on the locomotive. Now this one has dried clear right here. And if I can hold it steady, I have this under a magnifying glass. You can see, uh, oops, focus, that there is a little bit of yellow, like there's a bulb inside. Now the bottom one isn't dried thoroughly, so it's still uh, whitish, you know, milky. But it will dry clear eventually. It's probably because it's in the basement and it's uh, quite cool down here, so it doesn't dry as fast. But you can see what the effect I'm going for on the, by looking at the uh, small one. And now, what we'll do is we'll make the uh, coal look a little dusty. Okay, so now I'm going to take the uh, Tamaya weathering powders and we'll use the soot to put a little uh, dust on the coal. Assuming I can get it open. There we go. All right, and you know, these come with a little brush, you know, a little foam brush. And I wear out these foam applicators but i guess they're the same as makeup so i'll have to go to the dollar store and see if they sell these because i i just wear them out and i bought the high-end tamaya brush and i've look at that i've worn that right to the plastic and these are like almost six dollars a piece so i'm like geez once this wears out i got this expensive handle so let's give this a go we'll give a little Swirl in the soot. Probably losing sponge. And then we're just going to put a little for effect. You know, the 
this is. Let me go try a small one. I just want to tone some down, down some of the uh, shininess that I got going on. You know, I surely wouldn't have bought a new brush for this. the camera can pick it up but I can start to really see the difference like I guess I just given a little bit of the dust we'll do the edge inside the the coal sits Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know if I can really, like I said, maybe that, maybe you can see, see it's a little bit dull right in there. So I just keep working it, keep working it till you get uh, the effect you want. And the whole idea, like I said, just to give it a different appearance from the rest of the black plastic. So it looks like, you know, it's a different material. You know, in this case being coal. It still has a shine to it, so I'll continue working on this. And then uh, when the headlights completely dry, I'll show those to you. Okay, so here we have a close-up of the uh, two backup lights. And it took about four days for the larger one to really dry clear. I took it upstairs where it was warmer. And you can see, see you get that little bit of a silver with a yellow in the middle. Kind of give it that, uh, there's a bulb inside effect. And then now we'll look at the uh, headlight. And there we have the headlight. And for some reason it looks better with uh, you know in real life than on the camera. But uh, you get the idea. That it, you know has uh, that lens with a little bulb inside effect. All right, there's the big boy in all its glory. I don't plan on making this a shelf display. I like to have it on the layout near a engine facility or by a roundhouse have it look like uh, it's getting ready for a next run and I have a bunch of other static steam engine kits they're by a hobby line they're uh, Berkshires or Berkshires and it actually is an inexpensive way to kind of bulk up your um, engine roster so let's just take a real close look at some of the stuff on this there's the coal load, and you can see there is a, you know, it looks better if you're outside natural light. I should have done this outside, but anyways, it does have a different appearance than the rest of the black plastic. But if you see a real steam engine, you see the coal kind of does blend in with the engine anyways. And the long shot. Of course, I didn't build this display with the thought of a big boy being on it, but what are you going to do? Alright everybody, thanks for watching and I'll see you down the line.